Hey guys, Hot101 Season here, here to help, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to make your computer faster. Now I have been doing research on this for about a good week or two now, and YouTube has gave me some type of good suggestions on how to do it, but a lot of videos didn't really show 100% on how to get your computer to run faster or to respond to things quicker. So I went to Google, typed it in, and Google gave me great responses back on it. A lot of sites helped me out. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a 12-step system. Now, these steps can be repeated for frequent PC users every week. But for people that don't use their computers, it can be repeated every month. But I do recommend at least every two weeks you should repeat these steps, okay? Now, in the description, the steps will be there as well. So in any case, in the video, if I'm talking too fast for you or anything like that and you need to pause the video, you can go down to the steps section in the description and read from there. Okay, guys, so let me stop talking. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Step one, you should delete any unwanted items from your computer. A good place to start is your document area. You create documents all the time that you probably create one time and never use them again. So check there and delete. Another great place to delete items from would be your downloaded file. Basically anything you download from the internet will go into that file, such as pictures, videos, etc. That is a great place to delete items. Once you've done these steps, your computer should respond faster in the file areas. Step 2. You need to remove any programs you do not use. A great example of that is when you get your new computer, they come with a bunch of games and a bunch of programs you do not ever use. So it is great to remove those items so your computer can keep a great speed with programs and other things like that. Now to get to this area where you can uninstall programs, all you need to do is go to computers and on the top bar, you will see uninstall or change a program. Once in the menu, you will see a list of programs that you have currently installed onto your computer. Double click on the one that you would like to uninstall. Now, before doing this, if you do not know what something is, you should search it on Google first to make sure you're not uninstalling any hardware or drives that makes your computer run at the capacity that it does. Step 3. Check your hard disk for any errors. You can solve a lot of issues in your computer by doing this or improve your performance. To basically do this, go to your My Computer area, right click on your C drive or whatever drive you're using. Go to Properties, then to Tools. Once in Tools, you will see an area called error checking. Click on check now. It is basically going to prompt you to a window that you will need to schedule or you can start the scan currently there. But in some cases it will make you restart your computer or schedule one on the next turn on. Step 4. Clear your prefetch folder. To know what your prefetch folder is used for Please look in the description under step 4. You will need to create a new document or as some say notepad. Once the notepad is created, double click it to open it. Copy and paste the code in the description under step 4. And you will need to save that as faster.bat. Once saved, double click on the file. It is the best place to save it to is your desktop. Step 5. Clear your temp files. To know what the temp files are used for, please look in the description under step 5. To start the process, you will need to click on start, do a search for run, once the run menu has popped up, type in the box percent T E M P percent. Then click enter. 
once you have typed that in you will see a folder come up with a bunch of items in it you can delete all of the items by clicking control a then hitting the delete button on your keyboard this will delete into your local trash bin step six prevent unwanted programs from starting when the computer boots up to do this all you need to do is go to start search for run type in the search bar ms config then press ok once typed in you should see a menu pop up saying system configuration once there go to the tab startup you can select on what you would like to start up or you can deselect everything and this will allow your computer to start up in a faster step 7 check items in the registry editor to do this all you need to do is go to start search for run and type in R E G edit to initialize the registry editor and there you will need to go to menu show delay to get there please follow the text on the screen currently at this moment once there you are going to double click on menu show delay set it to zero then press OK the next item to check is prefetch parameters to go to the prefetch parameters area please follow as again on the screen to that area once there double click on enable prefetch once in the menu set it to 2 then click OK step 8 it is time to run your disk defragmenter all Windows PCs come equipped with this I am not sure of Mac or other operating systems to run this all you need to do is go to your start tab and search for it once up you should always set a schedule for this to run the disk fragmenter can take up to five to six hours to clean your system I require you run this when you're going to bed or to work step nine it is time to reset your Winsock catalog and solve any network problems you may be having. To know what this means, please look in the description under Step 9. To start the process, just click Start. Search for CMD. Once CMD has popped up, right click on it and run it as an administrator. Once the CMD command prompt comes up you will need to paste the text shown on the screen you can find this in the description once paste click enter this will reset and solve any network problems you may have thank you guys again for watching this video now if you see that I have stopped on step 9 just because I feel the other steps is your choice you know you don't have to do them but it's good to do them. I have linked some videos in the description of people talking about these programs and and these other items on how it would affect your computer and make the performance better. Okay? And also, if you have not done so, you can clean your trash bin if you're not going with the following steps below. Clear your trash bin currently right now and restart your computer after the video is over first. Don't restart it now. <laughs> all right guys please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you guys need to get in contact with the network please contact us on Facebook Twitter YouTube anything to get in contact with us guys all right guys thank you so much for watching the video again help 101 season out